Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. This is Real Talk with Amira. And today's topic is open letter to the new supply slash old supply slash recycled supply slash the new coming supply for the narcissist. You guys, I seen this on um, on a YouTube channel. You know, YouTube, that's my place. I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't watch a lot of Netflix. YouTube, YouTube is, you can watch everybody from everywhere. Everybody's trying to teach somebody. Some, yeah, some of it's bull crap, but you can learn a lot on YouTube. Doctors on YouTube, nurses, everybody on YouTube. So, this particular video that I've seen, it is from Hario Over the Top, H A R I O, space O V A D T O P. Open letter to the new supply. He does a lot of stuff on narcissists and psychopaths and. NPD, PTSD, New Supply. Those were the um, hashtags on this particular letter. And it's basically talking about me or that person who got discarded, let go. And then the New Supply came up with a narcissist. They always have supply. There's always somebody waiting in the wings. Somebody they're always contacting. Someone who's already in a relationship. The beginning, the ending, the the middle. They have multiple relationships. So, so that is what today's topic is about. And I really um, resonated with his message. You know. He said, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the new supply, the new supply coming, because guess what? I don't have to deal with this person anymore. And really, I don't because there's this other issues going on, but I really don't, you know, and flying monkeys, if you know narcissism or you know about narcissists, you know, he brought a couple of flying monkeys to me and this was late in the game. I, I never knew what I was dealing with until this past year. But, you know, he recruited his, I call him the goon squad, <laughs> the goons. He he recruited the goons, the the clowns to come contact me. And that's what they do. That's That's why we need to understand this. There is a certain pathology. There is a certain. Um, there are certain actions that they do. And. If I would have knew about a narcissist. Maybe I wouldn't have. Even got involved in this. But. Flying monkeys. Those are people that they recruit to. Go do their bidding. Go attack the victim. I only had two. Well, actually, I had three. So, there is a lot going on with a narcissist. So, flying monkeys. Those are women or men, depending on what they do or how they operate, that they will tell that person this person is doing something to them or hurting them or you can't you can you can hurt a narcissist but not by normal things <laughs> so he told these two women the the other supply that I did a certain thing and I didn't but they came to me like I did 
So let's get back on with this letter. No, I'm going off track already. <laughs> so the new supply or old supply, recycle supply, that's all they do. They use people for their energy, for... I, I, it's not a game because you're dealing with people's lives. Definitely not a game. But all they do is start over and start over like a jump start. I don't know. You, I need a jump in my car. A jump and it die. I need a jump and it dies. I need a jump and it dies. I need a jump and it dies. That's basically their life. That jump might last couple weeks a few months however long and then it dies and and that's what they're living off of their that energy so for the new supply guess what i know you are dealing with a monster from hell what do you have to look forward to nothing sex you know what? You can't have sex 24 hours a day. <laughs> well, oh, may, well, now <laughs> you can't. <laughs> but yeah, no. You, you think he's going to transform into a loving, monogamous, honest, caring, sharing person? All of a sudden? one of them seven years you still waiting on him to be an honest person to be monogamous nope sorry sweetheart it's not gonna happen keep on yeah keep on waiting it's official nah it ain't official <laughs> it doesn't take seven years for someone to be a good person you know what and, and i have definitely had my um yeah i've definitely had my ordeals with relationships and and i didn't know that's why I, you know what that's what i'm talking about on my facebook page please start teaching our kids about relationships and what's right and what's wrong what's not acceptable what's acceptable we we you where are we gonna see it at <laughs> if you're not doing it if you had this bad relationship arguing fighting um disrespecting domestic violence men, men beat women some men beat women some women beat men so where is the child going to learn what is right and what is wrong yeah, that, that's one of my big things lately that's on my mind <laughs> but you know basically a narcissist they swap and shop swap out one get another the next one you know what it's november the 7th i knew of one um maybe a month or so ago He's not already swapped out back to a old supply. And they think they are really about to get something. Please. Let, let's be real. If someone has done something for seven years before you met him and then 20 years. Let, let's let's wake up, ladies. I can't I can't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of people they are dealing with ruining people's lives you know it's 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 really crazy with the narcissist and you think you won a prize no sweetheart you lost <laughs> if it hasn't happened yet it's about to happen you're dealing with a monster you know it was another lady a month or so ago you're looking at me like uh oh she's crazy or she's this she's that nope 
where are you at right now he's done already swapped your ass out for an old supply not funny now huh ha 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 not funny <laughs> the, this person narcissist you're, you're not dealing with with respect or dignity or honesty <laughs> and that old supply that think it's official girl please you stole a thief you stole a liar you stole someone that has cheated on you in front of your face you stole someone that has had other women at the house and you pulled up and threw bricks at the window and all that came knocking on the door please get get let's wake up you stole a thief you stole a liar you stole a, a dishonest man you are the new fool again repeated recycled <laughs> you are the winner of the headaches the biggest cheater you want a trip to hell a non-refundable ticket not so funny now the joke is on you y'all y'all these, these women were joking at me coming to me the flying monkey thinking oh you did this you did that <laughs> Oh, thank you for all you did for us. What what type of woman says that? What type of woman says that? Making fun of another woman being used or abused. What type of woman says that? Please go look in the mirror, y'all. And that mirror gonna be cracked. <laughs> but anyway, not so funny now. You know what? You cannot be happy with a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a user. You're you're not a prize. He's not a surprise. He's not a prize. You're not a prize. Y'all both miserable. Pretending to be happy. That you got something new after years or months or whatever empty an empty box you stole an empty box of trash but you guys um the letter to the the new supply the old supply the y'all this then this has been some crazy stuff some of these women that i've dealt with that have actually spoke to me they're not in reality. There's this is not reality. And I am a I do believe in spiritual things, but I'm also I'm also a very grounded person. I'm a Capricorn. I believe you plant something, it's gonna grow. You plant some bullshit, it's gonna grow. And I am very much trying to like figure out dissect what i've been through the last couple of years but it's okay i'm gonna figure it out you know and people who want to be quiet you're really not teaching anyone anything by being quiet if something's happened to me and i can help someone i'm gonna share it sorry forgive me oh well <laughs> but a letter you're not happy and if you are right now guess what narcissists are manipulators you're gonna be temporarily happy for a moment And then it's going to be gone. That's it. I've already figured that out. He knows you better than you know yourself. 
which is bad, of course. But he knows you better than you know yourself because that's their job. Their job is to manipulate, orchestrate, (laughs) make themselves happy no matter what. So he knows you better than you know yourself. To all you, um, the new supply, you're going to be old supply. And they hook you in real good. They give you, they know what it is that you're looking for. They know what it is that you desire, that you're not getting. Because they study you. Trauma bonding. Ooh, I'm learning about that too. I definitely know I've been in some of that before. Because you, you, you just keep giving someone chances over and over and over. And that's, that's unnecessary. If somebody cares about you and loves you and respects you and cherishes you, then they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to treat you well. They're going to attempt to be good to you. Narcissist? Nope. So it's official? Mm-mm. It's official. You're on a path of destruction. <laughs> Go right ahead. Be officially destroyed again. And again and again and again. And you know, I see some of the flying monkeys and the other women. The, you know, I think I'm number eight women men i i I, i'm definitely i i have evidence i'm number eight how can somebody have a relationship with eight people (laughs) what kind of person is that is that a happy person happy camper Mm. and then you have a few of those people defending you Jesus, Mm-mm. y'all, there's some real things going on in the world today, <laughs> and I have been in one of them, and this is not, this is not a good thing, and then for those that want to stay in it, You already know what you're dealing with. And I know that the trauma bonding is real because I, I, I've dealt with that before where you stay in something and you go back and forth, but I've never where it was like this, but like mini trauma bonding. <laughs> but yeah, you know, your emotions, your, your chemical reactions, but you got to be able to, you got to be able to move past that. But yeah, the um, new supply, you know, you don't have nothing. Nobody changes overnight. So if you think you got something and you've been dealing with this person for 20 goddamn years or, uh, you know, mm-mm. he suddenly changed overnight and he became Prince Charming. It's Prince Charming. He's here. He's all of a sudden perfect and is going to do right and has had no therapy or real change. (laughs) Don't worry, I'll wait. Keep on. Y'all want to make fun of me. And how are you going to make fun of somebody who thought they were in a relationship? Who was helping the person they were in a relationship? And you're making fun of me? Really? And you're a woman? (laughs) No, y'all not women. Y'all just like him. Y'all narcissists too. And guess what? You're going to get that shit back. You're going to get that karma back. Did I make fun of you? 
I just tried to find out what was going on. Simply, hey, are you with this person? Get off my DM. Get off my page. No. <laughs> Keep waiting. Another one said, oh, I'm going to be with him for 10 a year, however long it takes. If you have to be with somebody for 10 years and they're not dedicated or um, committed to be with you, I'm going to just leave it at that. But, yep, I have learned a whole lot this past year, Lord. Still, and I'm still, I'm still going through stuff. And also, um, you know, one of the old supply, new supply, I don't know if I was first, she was last, who, they are, um, having his child now seems like a, a nice young lady but um I didn't feel any really sympathy for me but kind of mm, off-putting but it's all right because I don't have to deal with him anymore you do you have to deal with him for the rest of your life <laughs> oh lord and I'm so glad that that did not happen but old supply, new supply, coming supply. I I just I wish I could protect the 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 new ones that are coming that will be the victim. But I can't. But if people know and understand what this type of person looks like, that's that's why I think a lot of people talk about this topic. And I found it, and now I know what I was dealing with. But new supply, old supply, recycle supply. If you recycle, I got recycled once, but whew, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh, my God, I'd have messed up other things that I had going on. But it's okay. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Everything is going to work out. Teachable moment. <laughs> but y'all don't have anything. <laughs> you lost. I won. I escaped. <laughs> like a runaway slave. I escaped. And that's what I have to concentrate on. <laughs> Y'all are still in that. You think you have something? You have nothing. You can get on Facebook and post all you want. What? Boop, boop, boop. You ain't got nothing. This person has been like this for years. He has treated you bad for years. Over and over and over again. You have nothing. Open up your hand. What you got? You didn't even say it. You have even said that for some of them. But they, you know, I, I, that empath stuff, I believe that. I believe I am an empath to an extent, not the fullest. But, you know, you hear people say stuff and I really feel what they're feeling. But, um, you have nothing. You have an empty box, box of rocks kick rocks <laughs> you're not getting nothing out of that 
no loot. And I'll see it. Everybody's gonna see it. And for you not to be able to publicize what's going on, your relationship, your I didn't do that either. Maybe I knew some deep down, but it's a lot. But new supply, old supply, recycle supply to come back. Once he's done, a month ago he was with one supply, now he's back with the old supply, and then he got a baby on with another supply. Come on, y'all. Let's, let's wake up. <laughs> you know what? But if nobody talks about this stuff, then nobody knows. Nobody knows what you could be in. But, yeah, I'm number eight within the last year and a half, two years. I'm number eight. That's not a healthy person. And some of these were intertwined <laughs> that I found out later. How is someone going to be in eight relationships in the last year? Shit, it's that, that's almost 12 months. It's 12 months in a year. That's almost uh, uh, one person for each month. But yes, um, it's so much that I've been through this last year or so, and I'm just trying to express it and tell it and let people know narcissists, they're evil, don't have hearts. That's a person you need to stay away from, please. They gaslight you, they future fake you, oh, <laughs> future fake you. They promise you, they tell you the things that you want to hear and that they will never give you. So please be careful, people. Please be careful. Love bomb you. Lavish you with whatever you want to hear, whatever gifts. Praise and adoration want to be in constant communication with you they get upset when you um try to put up a boundary but for those of you that are stuck in that the uh, new supply old supply have at it enjoy thank you i I really love you guys because <laughs> you kind of show me what i didn't see in myself but the one, he going to destroy your life. The one that is hooked and connected and has all those hooks in her. Whoo, girl, you got it coming. He's going to destroy your life. And you know it. You kind of know it. But <laughs> if you stay, you're going to get destroyed. And the one that is having the baby... I don't know. I pray for her and the baby because I mean, I I have kids and I've I've my kid. Well, my kids, my older kids' dad, asshole, don't take care of his kids. Never took care of his kids, but oh well. But this person, my other my other two kids, dad, he died from a drunk driving accident. He would have been there for his kids, whether we were together or not. Yeah, he was going to be there. Very um, attentive dad for his kids. <laughs> but um, this young lady... This person is out to destroy people, no matter who you are. So, I'm not sure what she's going to be dealing with, but I pray for her. I pray for protection over her. And 
I just pray for her because it's not going to be easy for her. But anywho, new supply, old supply, coming new supply, coming new supply. Ooh, I wish I could put up a red warning sign, but I didn't get a warning sign. I guess you, you just have to know and get more experienced in knowing people and understanding the the signs and the subtleties of people. Boy, I, and like I said, I'm 49. I've never dealt with something like this before. But I'm learning. That's all I can do is learn every day. And I do try to learn something new every day. Literally, y'all. 365, 24-7. I'm trying to learn something every day. Definitely about things that I'm going through. A narcissist? I had no idea what that was. <laughs> um, What did I say? Um, Flying monkeys? <laughs> I've never had flying monkeys in my life, but I got a couple. I got two. You know, um, there are female narcissists too. The narcissist is called the stealer of resources for the right reasons because they steal your health, finances, self-confidence, self-worth, and all those things that made you, you. And that's why I've... I've I'm not going to say that I don't feel like I'm me. But definitely in repair mode. (laughs) Definitely in repair mode. And that's fine. And then I have other friends that I know I kind of scared them off. Or, yeah, basically scared them off. When I hate that. I hate it. But what's done is done (laughs) but yeah y'all y'all think y'all want to pause the one um youtube youtuber you want to do the (laughs) prize you haven't won anything and you already know it that's that's cognitive dissonance cognitive dissonance you haven't won anything you already know it (laughs) And it's it's so much to this story, y'all. Lesbians, threesomes, um, down low isms. <laughs> it's so much to this story. I'm gonna tell them. I'm I'm I need to put in a little short story, but it's so much to this story. But you haven't won. You've lost, and you wanna. It's like somebody. Oh, I won! I won! I won! Uh, what did you win? Nothing. You lost. And all of you thought y'all were making fun of me, talking about me, listening to the lies about me. Y'all still have to deal with that. I don't. So guess who won? I won. I won. No matter what happens. I won. I no longer have to deal with that. No babies. No um, lies. <laughs> no bringing me back in. Swap out king. That's that's my new term. Swap out king. No swap out king anymore. Because that's all y'all being. That's all y'all are being done to is swapped out. One month is this girl. One month is this woman. Next month, it's another woman. Next month, it might be the new man. So. All right, y'all. I don't know if I have too much more to say. Um, Thank you guys for listening. I see I have people listening in Germany. I think that's some of my Facebook friends. <laughs> but thank you guys for supporting me. I'm just going through life. I think we all go through life. We all go through relationship issues. We all go through family issues, work issues. Oh, my goodness. COVID issues right now, mandates, crime, murder, struggles. And I think we should talk about it a lot more. And I think there are there are certain people that talk about it. I'm just I need to get in those circles where people are 
willing to talk about what's going on in their lives. Because talking about something doesn't mean you are, you know, keeping it alive. I'm just trying to understand it and disseminate it and go through it, understand it. But I don't think talking about things are is necessarily bad. But if that's your main focus, maybe, but we need to start talking about things. We need to start talking about um, the things we really need to change and stop fake talking about it. Media, fake. Politics, fake. You know, they're really, you're really not trying to solve the problem. You just, um, I don't even know what to call it, but we need to start solving problems. We need to start talking to our children about relationships. Start talking to our children about getting pregnant, sex, um, work, (laughs) um, a, a, a wage, a minimum wage. Start talking to our children about making money easier, not harder. Buying homes. We need to start talking to our children younger. How do you buy a home? When should you buy a home? How much is it going to cost? What's the the mortgage rate you should get? What's the percentage rate? How much can you afford? What's you know? If we we're just letting our children just kind of go through life without saying anything. What is a good relationship? How should a man treat you? When a man cares about you, what does that mean? When a woman cares about you, what does that mean? You know, when something happened, when something bad happens, how do we react to that? We need to start talking about all those things because we don't. Because my par- my parents never, never talked. My I, I got pregnant at a young age. My parents never talked to me about sex. Hello, <laughs> that's something you need to talk to your children about. Don't leave it up to the school. Let's start telling our children younger. And I talk to my grandkids about everything. Domestic violence, having kids, what a good relationship is. So guess what? They don't have to guess. They don't have to wonder. Do I need to talk to them more? Yes. <laughs> but there are certain things that I have definitely expressed to them what it is and what it's not. Do I know everything? No, but I definitely know um, domestic violence. I know, um, you know, what being good and honest to someone is, being truthful. Do I know, do it? Have I done everything right in my past? Of course not. Nope, nope, nope. But ultimately, I was not trying to be um, totally malicious or just hurt someone. Trying to be honest. But it's, it's a lot we need to learn, a lot we need to do. All this fake. <laughs> There's a lot of fake stuff out there, but all right, that's about it. Uh, for those young ladies waiting in the wings for the narcissist, have fun. I'll see you on the news. <laughs> have fun. Stop, don't, don't, don't. Don't make fun of other women who you know are being hurt or used. Because guess what? He hurt them. He's going to hurt you. And that's all I got to say, y'all. This is Real Talk with Amir. I am going to do another podcast this week. I am not sure on what. But thank you guys for listening. I love all of y'all. I love people. I really do care for people. I just want everybody to be the best person you can be. 
and some days it can be very difficult you know I am a carer and a giver and I have to learn how to set those boundaries I'm working on that right now 10 17 p.m i'm working on that but we all have things we have to work on things we need to be better at but if you never attempt to do that honestly then nothing is going to change what do you need to change oh i just want my life better what what the hell does that mean oh i want to make more money how much money do you want to make what do you want to do to make it Please start being more specific, honing in on what you need to do because it's never coming if you don't. But I would love to say thank you again for all of the new supply, old supply, and the coming supply, the recycle supply. You lovely ladies have a wonderful night and be well with the narcissist. Good night.